Well, good morning, ladies. I'm so excited. Are you guys with me? Yes. Thank you, Diane. You guys, I'm so excited you didn't have to bring your lawn chairs. Come on now. <laughs> um, if you don't know Julio, you'll see Julio floating around. He's part of our church community. He's the one who sets up the chairs for us. We're back to doing this, so make sure you thank him when you see him um, because we're super grateful to not bring our lawn chairs. Woo! And how many of you could stand up out of your chair now and you couldn't before? <laughs> so super grateful for that. All right, you guys, I'm going to just open us in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this gorgeous day. Uh, as we're actually, I'm experiencing the sun shining on me. We just know that that's a reflection of you. Uh, we thank you for the beauty that surrounds us and how that, again, points back to you. Lord, I just pray that you will be very present with us in our time here together this morning, that you will be moving and working. Father, help us to be people attuned to your voice. Help us to be listening and help us to be longing for you. Lord, we're, we need you. We're desperate for you, and many times we don't even recognize it. So help us turn our hearts to you this morning as we're together. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Well, I have to say, I um, am excited to come this morning as I have told you many times that I've been longing for my daughter to be back in school. You guys have heard me say that, right? And actually not because I don't want her around. I actually have delighted so much in her being around. I am just so aware that that is not what she needs to be up in her room doing Zoom all day. Um, so I come to you saying, my daughter went to school for the first time today. <laughs> Thank you for rejoicing with me. <laughs> I have to tell you, uh, she started high school, and she started at a new high school, and even though she's been meeting the kids on Zoom, this is kind of a big deal. So I, I, it's one of those moments where we're super excited as I was driving her there, and then I was bawling tears and buckets as I was driving away. So <laughs> um, that's just the nature of life. But uh, I am super excited um, that we're kind of moving into a new season, hopefully, in our world, uh, and that things are starting to open up. And us even doing the chairs is reflective of that. We wanted people to control their own space before, but we're feeling like, yeah, no, you guys can handle our chairs, right? <laughs> um, and so I'm just thankful for that, and I want us to just celebrate together that we've been moving through um, a lot as a world, and now we're moving into hopefully a new season. I know many of you are getting vaccinated, so we rejoice that you are feeling free. Um, and I'm even seeing new faces because of that, so I'm super thankful for that. Um, I wanna say I loved service day last week. It was such a treat to be able to serve Every Generation Ministries. And just in light of celebrating, I'm gonna take a moment, we're gonna actually watch a video from our week last week and just delight together in what we did together. So here is our service day video.
Um, I love that song because I feel like that's what all of that work was last week is just take our lives. And that's what we want to be out about every single day. And, you know, I have to say I loved they did a little analogy with us with the water and the crystal light. And I actually wanted to remind us of what they did today. I'm going to do it right now. Oh, I should have opened this ahead of time. You know this is going to be a disaster, right? None of you could have opened it. Why did I not open this ahead of time? I saw you guys all struggling last week. Oh, shoot. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're just going for it. Except I don't even think I got low enough on that, Janelle. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's sweet. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. It's going to happen. Um, slowly but surely. Wow, this is not working the way I anticipated. <laughs> oh my. Come on now, come on. See, now I'm experiencing what you all experienced. Okay. Oh, going in. Where's my lid now? Come on, you guys. What is happening? <laughs> Talk about fail, right? Okay, well, we saw the stuff go in, and we talked about how when we mix it up, this is going to be a disaster. You know it is. You know it is without me having. But it, it, it actually will become a part of the substance. And what she was telling us last week is that this is reflective of God's word actually coming and changing our lives. And she was talking about it in the context of children. But I was like, no, 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 this is us, you guys. This is exactly what needs to be happening on Wednesday morning, is that when we come and we sit in God's word, that we actually experience it transforming us, that we are no longer the same. We are different. We are changed every time we engage God's word. And so that is, I loved this analogy. I loved this visual picture. I want us to think about being crystal light. Well, we're not the crystal light. We're the water, and the crystal light is getting poured into us when we come in on Wednesday, and it's truly transforming us. And so that is the vision that I want to stick with you, and I loved that from last week. And so as we engage even Psalm 63 this morning, I just want you to approach it as, God, may this actually change the very substance of who I am when I engage your word. May it change me and transform me. Um, and so I actually want us to take some time. We're going to, this again, we've got chairs now. We're mixing everything up. We're doing things we haven't done in a year. But I would love for us to just take some time to pray together in groups. Maybe in groups of two, three, or four, or even if you want to pray by yourself. But I just want to give you guys some time to pray together. And I want us to pray about this very work. That when we're coming on Wednesday mornings, that God is doing something to actually shape us and transform us and make the very substance of who we are different because we have engaged with him. And so I'm going to encourage you. The other thing is you can pray out of Philippians 4, or Philippians 1, 9 through 11, which talks about um, how we want love to abound here how we want to grow in depth of knowledge and insight, that we want to become women who discern what is best, that we want the fruits of righteousness to spill out of us, and that ultimately we want God to be glorified. And so I encourage you guys, you can just kind of gather with anybody, turn your chairs, and let's just pray together. Let's just take a little time. And I know this can be awkward because you're like, who am I going to sit with and pray with right now? But let's just do it. Let's beat the awkward and just pray with some people around us.
Father, we uh, thank you that you hear all these prayers, and you even know what's on the hearts of the people that just are getting cut off as we continue our morning. Uh, Lord, I do pray as we look at this water with the crystal light. Lord, we imagine you doing this kind of work in us where we are utterly transformed by you. We ask, we just know, we acknowledge that we need your spirit to do this work, that we need you to do this. Um, And so, Lord, will you transform us? Will you make us so substantively different than the people around us because we know you? Uh, Lord, we love you, and we thank you that we get to be in your word together, and uh, we just pray your time, this time is, uh, as has been said, consecrated to you. Here we are, Lord. We come. In your name, amen. All right, you guys can turn your chairs back around, unless you want to just face with your backs. It's all good. I found the cap, by the way. It's truly been transformed, everybody. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about longing for God this morning and in Psalm 63. And to just kind of um, get our minds and hearts in that place, I want us to um, engage this prayer together. This is a Puritan prayer that's been adapted, talking about longing for God. Oh, no, we don't want that again. (laughs) All right. Actually, will you guys, um, why don't you take a moment to read this and just let it sit with you, and then we'll pray it together. Okay, so can you take a moment to just read this prayer? That last line was missing a word. Help me to only desire you, Lord. Amen. All right, let me read Psalm 63, and uh, we'll get into our passage. Um, I'm on page 256 in your study guide if you want to join along with me. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you, and your right hand upholds me. Our song this morning is actually Psalm 63 by Shane and Shane. 